Thank you, Presiding Officer. Uh, yesterday, after nearly 20 years, the murderer of Emma Caldwell was finally brought to justice. As well as her murder, Ian Packer was convicted of 33 offences against 22 women committed over three decades. He should have been behind bars years ago. This is what Emma's mother, Margaret Caldwell, told us this morning, speaking via her lawyer, Amar Anwar. They knew it was Ian Packer as far back as 2006, but they gave him the freedom to carry on attacking and raping vulnerable women like my Emma. And Margaret had a message for the First Minister. She said this, if Mr Yusuf genuinely cares about the victims and my Emma, then he has no other option but to organise an independent public inquiry. And she continued, with respect, what are you waiting for? So will Hamza Yusuf take the opportunity today to immediately announce the establishment of a judge-led inquiry? First Minister. Presiding officer, can I thank Douglas Ross for raising an exceptionally important uh, issue. Let me, uh, first and foremost, give once again my condolences and that of the government to Emma's family, her friends, loved ones, uh, at what will continue to be an extraordinarily difficult time. I want to pay tribute to Margaret Caldwell, uh, Emma's mother, uh, and indeed her family, uh, who tirelessly fought for justice, not just for Emma, but of course for the many other women who have suffered at the hands of Ian Packer. Can I also recognise the important role that journalists have played in this as well. The Sunday Mail, uh, BBC Scotland have played uh, in this case and uh, the tenacity of the reporters in trying to seek out justice. Uh, yesterday's verdict won't have brought any elation or happiness, I suspect, to uh, Emma's uh, family and to uh, Margaret uh, in particular. But I hope it does give a small, tiny crumb of comfort that justice to some extent has been done. But Douglas Ross is right that justice is far too late. There are some serious failings in this case. Of that, there is no doubt. I wrote and have written to the legal representative of uh, Margaret uh, Caldwell, uh, responded to say that I, would, uh, I will, of course, meet with Margaret Caldwell alongside the Cabinet Secretary for Justice and Home Affairs, willing to meet with them. In terms of uh, a public inquiry, I was wanting to hear uh, from uh, Margaret Caldwell and, of course, uh, examine and look at the case, uh, not just in more detail, but it's important for me to say there is still an ongoing legal process. Uh, Ian Packer does have uh, the right, uh, of course, uh, to appeal, so we have to wait, uh, I think, to some extent to see what the next stages of that legal process are. But let me be absolutely clear, uh, a judge-led public inquiry is absolutely something we are exploring, it is absolutely not off the table, and is something we're giving very serious consideration to, given the systemic failings of this case. Douglas Ross. I, I agree with almost everything the First Minister said there, but it needs to be more than explored and, and not off the table. There are, of course, legal routes that still have to be uh, established and uh, finished, but we know there are major failings in this case that will not change uh, regardless uh, of an appeal. Uh, and again, this is what um, uh, Margaret told us this morning via her legal counsel, Amar Anwar. A judge-led public inquiry that acts without fear or favour, that is the very least my Emma and the many women who have spoke up deserve. For far too long, those in the police or Crown who failed us have remained in the shadows. She finished by saying only a judge-led public inquiry will reveal the corruption, the criminality and the motivation. Emma Caldwell's family and many other women who were attacked need answers now, not in another 20 years. They need a free and fearless public inquiry that victims and their families can fully trust. So I think the First Minister does need to say today that he agrees to that judge-led inquiry, uh, and we are calling for that to be led by a judge from out with Scotland. Will he agree to that? First Minister. Again, um, th there is uh, not uh, much difference between Douglas Ross uh, and I at all in this regard. I, I, I will repeat, I don't rule out uh, a public inquiry. The reason, uh, of course, I'm, I'm suggesting that it's important and prudent for me uh, to meet with Margaret Caldwell, to hear directly from her, to hear from her legal representative, uh, and importantly, of course, to also explore and examine 
uh, what the interaction with any inquiry would be with an ongoing legal uh, process. I hear what Douglas Ross is saying, that if there is to be a judge-led public inquiry, it should that be with a judge from outside of Scotland. I think that is worthy of consideration if we get to that position. But let me be absolutely clear, we do not rule out, in fact, it's very firmly on the table, a judge-led uh, public uh, inquiry. Um, as First Minister, it is important uh, that I do consider the ongoing uh, legal uh, process. I do go back to the central point of which there is no disagreement between Douglas Ross uh, and I. Emma and many, many women, at least 21 of which we know of, were subjected to the most horrendous attacks, rape, sexual assault, and of course, in Emma's case, a tragic uh, murder by Ian Packer. They were ultimately let down by failings in the justice system and clearly failings uh, from the police service at the time. I do commend the bravery of the many, other, uh, many women who have come forward to speak bravely uh, about their experiences in the pursuit uh, of uh, justice. So I, I go back to my central point, uh, Presiding Officer. Uh, I will meet with Margaret Caldwell. I will, be, will, be, will meet with her legal representative. Uh, and I am very open to the suggestion, to the idea, to the calls uh, for a judge-led public inquiry. Douglas Ross. I really feel the First Minister has to go further. He, he said in his answer there that people have been let down. There are many failings. We know that. Regardless of any appeal that is still to come, the failings by the police and the Crown are absolutely crystal clear. That's why a judge-led inquiry by someone from out West Scotland is the only option. And it must be the only option on the table. And I think the First Minister just needs to take the opportunity today to agree to that, to announce that. Because an inquiry led by a judge from out West Scotland will get to the bottom of what happened here. Because these were not just mere accidents by Police Scotland or the Crown Office. It seems that evidence was deliberately ignored and suppressed. The truth only emerged after years of campaigning by Emma's family when a former detective, Jerry Gallagher, stepped forward as a whistleblower. He publicly identified Ian Packer as a suspect in the media. It's utterly shocking that the response from the police was to launch a surveillance operation targeting the journalists and the whistleblowers. One of the whistleblowers, Jerry Gallagher, says there must be consequences for those responsible. On that point, does Hamza Youssef agree? First Minister. Well, I do agree that uh, the targeting of not just police officers, but suggestions of targeting of journalists as well is uh, incredibly worrying, incredibly concerning. I, I go back to the, the, the question that um, Douglas Ross has asked me from at the very beginning about a public uh, inquiry. I think if, if the government is to announce a judge-led public inquiry, which, as I say, is something we are very seriously considering uh, and exploring, it's important for us if we are to make that announcement, first of all, I think to speak, of course, to Margaret Caldwell, but also to come to this parliament with the full detail of what any potential public inquiry could look to explore and examine what any potential terms of reference may well look like uh, as well. So I go back to my central point. We are not at all opposing a public inquiry, in fact, very firmly uh, in our consideration in this regard. Douglas Ross is absolutely right. When you look back over the history uh, of uh, this uh, case, it is uh, astonishing. Uh, some of the allegations that are being made uh, in relation to Police uh, Scotland, it wasn't Police Scotland then, of course, the legacy forces uh, prior to Police Scotland's uh, formation. Uh, for me, uh, as, as a government, let me also uh, just say, to give some level of assurance, that this is why the work around violence against women and girls is so, so important uh, to this very day, and we continue, uh, of course, uh, to ensure that we fund that work. So there are many questions to answer around why Packer, Ian Packer, was able uh, to evade justice, continue to commit many crimes that he did for so long. So we will seriously consider all of the options uh, that are on the table, uh, including, of course, uh, a judge-led public inquiry, and take on board the suggestion that Douglas Ross has made that if there is to be a public inquiry, then could we consider a judge out with Scotland? Douglas Ross. Emma Caldwell, her grieving family, and Packer's many other victims were betrayed by what was one of Scotland's worst policing scandals. Many questions remain about how this shameful saga, which can only be answered by a fearless, transparent and independent inquiry. I really think that is the only option. We need to know why did it take so long to charge Ian Packer? Why was he allowed to remain free to attack more women? And who was responsible for allowing him, after multiple interviews, to continue to walk free. 
So I hope the First Minister can take from this to urgently and immediately meet with Margaret Cal Caldwell and her legal representatives to bring an urgent statement back to this Parliament in a matter of days to finally announce that this Government is launching an independent inquiry and it will be led by a judge from outside Scotland. First Minister. So I think, uh, Officer Douglas Ross uh, is right. There are lots of questions that demand an answer. Um, and the many women who have been failed, uh, Emma Caldwell ultimately uh, failed, but many other women who have also been failed by the justice system, by uh, the police uh, forces uh, previously, uh, it is important that they get the answers to the questions that they rightly have. Uh, let me also give some assurance to Douglas Ross. Uh, we will seek to meet with uh, Margaret Cal Caldwell uh, and her legal representative uh, urgently, and we will look at the options in front of us and come back urgently too. Because, as Douglas Ross said, I think in his opening question, uh, women have waited far too long for justice, given the history of this uh, case. So I will uh, perhaps end, uh, planning officer, where I started, which is paying tribute to Margaret Caldwell uh, in particular, uh, but also the many other women who came forward bravely to speak about their experiences, uh, the fearless journalists who, of course, uh, first unmasked uh, Ian Packer's activities and were tireless in their pursuit for justice. But uh, let me uh, end uh, once again by saying that we will not just meet with Margaret Caldwell, but are very seriously considering the option of a public inquiry.